Hi, we're back again, and this is a tutorial on how to complete the write a column read for a new research assignment. It should only take about five minutes. I'll give you an idea about what I'm expecting for this assignment. It's a part of the learning module number one on what is cognition. Now, if you went through the readings and the mini lectures, we learned about Calmary as an acronym to help us read primary research articles. So in this exercise, you will find a primary research article in Cognition. That's one of your tasks. This needs to be published between 2020 and 2021, so it's a new article. you got to obtain the article, read it, and then write a Calmary. Now, all of these things aren't necessarily easy things to do, the purpose of this assignment is for you to try doing these things. It's totally okay if you find it all confusing and it doesn't all work out at the end. That's okay. So just follow these steps. You can go to Google Scholar and search for things about cognition you find interesting. Maybe you'll find a paper there. You could check out this list of journals from the course website. There's lots of different journals that publish papers in cognition. And this is another area that could be challenging. Where are you going to get this paper? There's tons of them out there. So spend five or ten minutes looking for something. See if something catches your eye. I clicked on this link. I went to the Journal of Experimental Psychology general website. I uh, searched around. I clicked read this journal. Here's what their website looks like. You can scroll down and read all sorts of things. Uh, I ended up scrolling into issue 5 of 2021, and I found a paper here that looked interesting to me. Actually, I think it was a different one. It was April, yeah, issue 4. Right around here, brain training habits are not associated with generalized benefits to cognition, an online study of over 1,000 brain trainers. So let's get this paper. You could click the link. We'll need to get access somehow. This one's behind a paywall. So my recommendation is copy the DOI. That's this little thing right here. Copy that. Head over to the Brooklyn College Library website. So I just searched for that. There's the link. In the OneSearch tool, copy the DOI link. And you might need to log in if you're off campus, but if there's an online available copy, you can click this link and just sort of follow the steps here to find the article. Obtaining PDFs and things like that is part of the process of doing research and learning about cognition. We found the article here. We can get a PDF copy by clicking PDF full text. And here we have the article. So it looks like I have to scan it and read it in order to complete the assignment. So the first thing I would do once I found my article is I would head over to a word processor and start setting up some of the components of the assignment. For example, I'm going to go to the uh, back to the course website. Here we are. and this part that lists all the pieces of the columnary, these are my instructions. I, I need to fill out each of these things. So I'm just going to copy this right off the course website and put it into my word processing document. All right, as I read the paper, I'm going to try to fill out the answers to these things. So for example, what is the big question of this paper? Well, after I read it, I should be able to say what the big question is. And I should be able to maybe find a more specific question they're answering, and so on. What I'm going to do now is scroll down, because I've already kind of read the paper uh, on the side and filled out this thing. And I'd like to show you an example of a completed assignment about what I'm looking for. So it could be done in point form. Here we go. I'm just going to bring this up. I've got my name here, learning module one, and I've got a, a little calmry that I wrote where I 
used short sentences to identify the big and specific question. This one had some pretty straightforward alternative ideas, I thought, and I wrote a couple sentences for each of the logic statements. My methods statement wasn't very long. The, I mean, this paper was about whether brain training programs work. And it, according to the research, looking at a thousand people who did a whole bunch of brain training programs, they didn't really help improve other measures of cognitive performance. So the main inference being made here was that the brain training programs did not work as advertised. All right, let me show you another example of how this assignment could have turned out. You know, maybe I chose a paper that I didn't understand, really was confusing, but I tried. My column might look like something uh, like this. I might say I didn't really understand what the big question was, and I couldn't find multiple alternative ideas, and I wasn't really sure what the logic of this thing was, and I didn't get what the methods were. It's okay if your assignment looks like this because you chose an article that was confusing. Part of the purpose of this whole assignment is to get your feet wet and try engaging with the literature. So I hope this explains a little bit better what I'm looking for. Good luck. I hope you have fun finding an article and I hope you find an article that you find interesting. All right, see you next time.